The King's Obsession. How the King's Curiosity Destroyed His Kingdom. The once prosperous kingdom lay in ruins. Its people were scattered, its cities destroyed, and its king was lost to the madness that had consumed him. But this was not always the case. Once, the kingdom was a place of peace and prosperity, ruled by a king who was loved by all. He was a just and wise ruler, and his people flourished under his leadership. But one day, the king heard of a mirror that could show the future, and his curiosity got the best of him. Despite the warnings of his advisors, the king became consumed with the idea of possessing the mirror. He sent his most trusted warriors on a dangerous quest to find it, promising great rewards and riches for whoever succeeded. After many months of searching, they finally stumbled upon a hidden cave deep in the jungle, where the mirror was said to be hidden. As they approached the mirror, they saw that it was covered with a cloth, and a warning was etched into the wall beside it. The warning spoke of the mirror's power, of how it had brought ruin to countless kingdoms, and that it was not to be touched or looked upon. But the warriors were not afraid, they removed the cloth, eager to gaze upon the mirror's power. As they stared into the mirror, the warriors' eyes widened with wonder and amazement. But as they gazed into its depths, their expression turned from delight to horror. When they finally tore their gaze away from the mirror, they were traumatized by what they had seen. Silently, they carried the mirror back to the king, no words spoken between them. When they arrived, the king was delighted, eager to gaze upon the mirror and see what it held in store for him. The king called upon the great traditional healer, whose name was Mutunzi, to seek his advice on how to use the mirror effectively. Mutunzi was known throughout the land for his wisdom and his ability to see beyond the veil of this world. When the healer arrived, he warned the king of the mirror's power and the dangers that it held. He told the king that the mirror could reveal the future, but that it could also distort the truth and show him only what he wanted to see. Despite his warning, the king was determined to use the mirror to his advantage. And so, the healer gave him a set of instructions on how to use the mirror safely. He told the king that he should only gaze upon it once a month for no longer than 30 seconds at a time. Any longer than that, he warned, and the mirror could begin to take hold of his mind and distort his perception of reality. Thanking Mutunzi for his advice, the king went to the room where the mirror was kept. With a sense of excitement and anticipation, he removed the cloth covering the mirror and gazed upon its depths. At first, he saw nothing but darkness, and he began to fear that the mirror was broken. But then, as his eyes adjusted to the light, he saw a vision of himself sitting atop a throne of gold and jewels. He saw his kingdom prospering, and his enemies vanquished. The following days, the king disregarded Nthunzi's advice and began to look into the mirror every day. He ordered a chair to be placed in the room, so that he could sit and gaze into its depths for hours on end. As he continued to use the mirror, the king began to see visions of his trusted advisors and loyal subjects as villains, plotting against him and his kingdom. Fueled by the mirror's twisted visions, he became paranoid and began to destroy the lives of those around him. He banished his wife and children, accusing them of plotting against him. He imprisoned his most loyal subjects, accusing them of treason. The numbers in the court dwindled, as people grew afraid of the king's erratic behavior. And with every passing day, the kingdom grew more and more unstable, as the king's madness and the mirror's power consumed everything in their path. Mutunzi knew that something had to be done to break the hold that the mirror had on the king. He knew that destroying the mirror was the only way to release the king from its grip, but it wouldn't be an easy task. The king had become obsessed with the mirror, spending day and night before it, lost in its twisted visions. He had grown thin and haggard, his once strong body weakened by his obsession. And with every passing day, the mirror's power over him grew stronger, consuming him with its madness and despair. Under the cover of darkness, the healer crept into the palace and made his way to the room where the mirror was kept. The king was there, lost in his obsession, unaware of his presence. With a heavy heart, the healer lifted his axe and swung it towards the mirror. The sound of shattering glass filled the room, and the mirror fell to the ground in a thousand pieces. The king was jolted out of his trance, and he looked around the room in confusion. It took a few moments for him to realize what had happened, and then he began to weep, his body shaking with sobs. For the first time in many days, the king was free from the mirror's grip. But the cost had been high. The kingdom was in disarray, and the king's mind was broken, shattered by the mirror's power. The king was aware that undoing the horrors he had inflicted upon his people would require a significant amount of effort and patience to return to the prosperous days of old. Thank you for watching our story, The King's Obsession, and we hope you enjoyed it. 
What lessons did you draw from this story? Share them with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Tales of the Savannah for more exciting stories. Thank you for watching, we will see you next time, in the Savannah.